Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and I love indie makeup, especially shiny, shifty, and sparkly eyeshadows. And today I'm going to be talking about the brand new palette from Nomad Cosmetics and that's the Paradise Islands palette. This is what the packaging looks like. They always have amazing packaging. I mean, I just want to go there right now. So obviously it's got a very summery feel to it. We've got beaches, turtles, all the tropical fishies, and it is just in time as spring has begun and summer is upon us. So this is perfect. And I did see this palette before they reveal the entire color story and I literally went wow because this is so colorful and I love me some colorful eyeshadows and we have plenty of those. It does seem like there's a little bit of theming per row. This does have three more shades more than their previous palette which was the uh quite on the contrary actually which was a winter theme palette which was the whistler snow lodge palette and this one has three less shades so just in comparison you can kind of see this one is a little bit larger and i did receive this palette in pr from nomad cosmetics so thank you so much for letting me try this out before the launch very excited to dip into it and create three looks this one of course being one of them and i did just want to mention that there are eight mattes eight glistening shimmers and two duochromes so let's get right into the three looks and then i'll give you some of my thoughts at the end of the video quite a bit of a light base i'm using the paint primer from p louise i really want something that doesn't have really any sort of tone to it that might interfere with the tones of the matte eyeshadows going in with the shade dolphin whoa pigmentation oh my goodness that is beautiful I just wiped off my brush and I'm going back in to feather out the edges. Ooh, I love that. Next, I'm taking Tiki. Wow. Okay, okay. And I'm just blending that on this outer edge. I'm using the same brush. This is the Game Beauty E01. This one usually would be a little too large for me, but I'm really trying to get like a super blown out look. And I'm popping on Lizard onto the outer corner. I'm getting a little bit of fallout. This shade is so beautiful. I'm just tapping it on to blend it in. And I'm also going to take it under my lower lash line. And then taking Stingray right next to that under the rest of my little lash line. Wow, okay, pigmentation. Going in with Hua Hine right into the crease. Ooh, that is such a gorgeous blue. I am just trying to deepen it up right here in the crease. I'm gonna do like a half cut crease situation. Dipped into Turtle and I wet my brush. And I'm just going to be putting that into the center of my lid. Super nice. And then I picked up fish and I sprayed my brush again and it's going to go into the inner lid and I'm just going to take it a little bit into my crease. This one has definitely got that sparkle. I'm going back in with turtle just to help blend it in there. I picked up whale and it's going to go in my inner corner. Oh, that's so pretty. If you hear music, our neighbor just decided to blast music on his porch, so that's currently what's happening. To finish off this look, I put on the Ioni Natural Doll Medium Lashes, and in the waterline, I have Shamrock Eyeliner from Beauty Creations. Taking Mana. I'm popping that right into the crease. Once again, super pigmented. I'm gonna take this all over my lid. I'm gonna do a simpler look on this eye. Just really wanna play with some of these other types of shades and I'm going in with Sky now onto the outer corners of Mana. Just really blow it out. Then popping in a little bit more Mana just to get a little bit of like almost depth in here. Also, RIP to my NYX glitter primer. This happened yesterday. I was just trying to open it and it completely snapped off, which is the strangest thing because the last NYX glitter primer I had, I had it for two years with no issues, at least two years. So I don't know if this is a new thing or if I just got lucky last time, but I'm taking some of that and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I'm gonna have to buy another one because 
I'm not about to try to keep taping that one up. It's just going to get too annoying and it's going to make me not want to use it. So I'm just tapping that all over my lid and I'm taking Moon and I'm placing that onto the outer half of my lid and I'm taking it into the crease. I think I need a better brush. This brush doesn't seem to really want to pick it up that well. Instead, I picked up the BK Beauty brush and putting sun next to that. So pretty. The thing is with these shades, you're gonna have to kind of work with these and work around them. I feel like I had something on the brush and it's interfering. So I'm gonna go in with my finger because I feel like it ended up looking a little bit like a grayish pink. And I'm going back in my finger with Moon just to blend them together. Definitely lots of fallout. Taking Mana under my lower lash line. And then taking Tiki just for that pop of a lime green. And then taking Bora Bora on my inner corner. And I sprayed my brush and it's really hard pressed in there. It's really hard pressed in there. It has potential, but this reminds me of that one shade in the previous palette where it was very, very satin and almost didn't quite have like any sheen to it. It has a little bit of a sheen, but it's not really shiny. To finish off this look, I put on the Ioni Natural Doll Medium Lashes. And in the waterline, I have the Tiptoe Eyeliner from Beauty Creations. Onto the third look, I'm priming with the P. Louise, just the regular primer. Not the paint. This one's different. This one does not set down like the paint. I'm going in with Dolphin. I want to do an all blue look. Just really feeling the blues. So that's going to go on in my crease. These really pack a punch. So far I'm really, really enjoying the mattes the most, I think. And then taking Huahuain. Huahuain? So unfortunately, Google doesn't have like a sound that tells you how to pronounce it. And popping that onto the outer corner. And just adding a little bit more. This one does seem to want to kind of blend away a little bit. And I'm taking it in here as well just to deepen up the inner crease but not really too much, just adding a little bit of depth. I'm taking Dolphin and I'm going to pull in out the edges out here with that. Next I'm taking some of my NYX glitter primer. I end up putting it in this jar so that it wouldn't dry out. Since the top completely came off, it's really too bad, I definitely don't think it's going to last that long, especially in a jar. Jars are just really not made for longevity. And I'm doing a fake half cut crease. I'm taking Ocean, which looks so beautiful and sparkly. There's definitely like flex throughout it. And I'm putting that basically all over my lid. And then going in with Shark right above that to cut the crease part oh that is these two are definitely some of the best shimmers in this palette for my preference so I'm finishing off the look with the dark blue under my lower lash line I'm only gonna take it about halfway in you can hear the birds <laughs> I'm not gonna be mean to them today I promise I'm going to take the shade Fish and I'm going to spray it and that's going to go right underneath my lower lash line. Love this shade. This is also like a sparkly shade. Super sparkly. I just love the way that looks underneath. It just really makes the eyes pop, I feel like. And then I'm going to take Whale for the inner corner and I'm going to spray it. Definitely helps to spray this one. So here's the third and final look.
So, so I just realized it's actually the same size as the Haunted Ear palette. So it seems like they're kind of alternating between the larger palettes and the smaller palettes. So let's talk about some of my thoughts on this palette so far. I've created three looks. I plan on doing a fourth look for a reel I have to, I absolutely have to use. Tahiti, it just, there's so many sparkles throughout it. It looks really, really gorgeous. So I can't wait to dip into it. So first I want to talk about the mattes because the mattes like really have blown me out of the water. Now Nomad Cosmetics has very much improved their mattes since probably within the last year. They've, they've been really good in the last few palettes, but these really just blew me out of the water. Like these are so easy to use and they're so pigmented, but they're so blendable. And I'm really, really impressed with the mattes. I think the mattes might be one of my favorite parts of this palette. Now, that being said, it is a little bit more of a mid-tone palette. So there's not much really to deepen that with, which you might know is something very important to me to deepen out the outer corner. However, since it is a summery themed palette, I totally understand understand that you want these to be a little bit more on the brighter side versus maybe not necessarily on the deeper side and I think you can create some really simple beautiful looks by row so we have kind of pinks and oranges here and then greens and blues and then blues to purple so you really have a nice spectrum of everything you could create some really really easy looks where you, if you just wanted to do like a pop of one of these shades so you could do tiki all over the lid and then just layer fish over it and just call it done and have a really beautiful springy summery look so it's really lizard that's the deepest shade in here but I think it's totally fine because the mattes, like I said, just the formula is really been perfected and I love it. So moving on to the shimmers, we have a variety of textures, if you will. We have fish, ocean, and shark, which do have a little bit more just of a... Uh, like they look a little bit different in the pan. They look almost like slightly chunky, but they're not chunky. And these shades really have that sparkle. I'm not saying some of the other shades don't, but these are like probably the most shiny, which are the ones that I have on right now. And then some of these other shades are just not as shiny, but they're still sparkly. So we've got Sun, Moon, Muria, and Tahiti. They're still really beautiful, but they're just not as shiny. As the other shades. Now last I wanted to talk about Bora Bora and Whale because I am a little bit disappointed in those shades. Bora Bora reminds me of the what is it called Snow Bunny shade in the Whistler Lodge palette which is uh oh it's called Powder Specialist and I talked about in my review on this palette that this shade just doesn't really give you much shine at all. It's kind of like a sheen even using a glitter primer or wetting the brush it just doesn't really quite do much. It's very powdery and it's just it doesn't really feel special. This right now it looks way shinier than it does in person trust me and I mean you saw I use it on the inner corner I probably wouldn't use this all over the lid because it just wouldn't give me that sparkle that I look for which obviously like you need to take my review of this palette with a grain of salt because my preference is shiny 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 sparkly but I do appreciate some of the other shades in here that are not as shiny but I'm just saying I think compared to some of these other formulas in here Bora Bora is just a little bit subpar. Whale seems to be similar but better so so Whale is better than Powder Specialist from the Lodge palette and better than Bora Bora. This one definitely if you dampen your brush you do get more of like a shine sparkle so this shade I do like. Is it quite like fully there like what I would like this shade to be? No but it is a nice sheen and I think you could definitely use this as a highlighter because of the fact that it is so smooth. So those are my thoughts on this palette. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this palette. Will you be picking it up as of right now? I don't know any launch details so I will put them in the description box once I have them and I do have a non-affiliate code with Nomad Cosmetics. It is Millie 15 in case you're interested in purchasing this palette and saving some money and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel I would love it if you subscribe. There's so much indie makeup content. Lots and lots of eyeshadow tutorials. I've already my channel and much more to come you don't want to miss out so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time